It's day 37. Be sure to check out my Korean Radish series. It's really taking off. My Sunchoke series down there in a new setup. And as you can see, there's been more growth for the onions. It's really moldy for this one that still refuses to root. It's not doing too well in the past three or four days. You know, that's brown. That tip is brown. Um, they both have a lot of mold, both halves. Let me focus on this. You know, so that's just pink and powdery, disgusting. I'm going to do a complete makeover for this and have them in different setups. But, you know, the, the roots still look healthy there. You can see this interesting crisscrossing pattern that you normally never get to see with onion bulbs being underground. And that other one, which is your prototypical, you know, method for growing onion bottoms. Uh, it's got a lot of mold at the bottom. So that's really disgusting. And I need to trim away all this dead material. Otherwise, I'll just have a never-ending problem with mold. Plus, this setup is too cumbersome to spin around while I film. I spared you the truly revolting footage and experience of removing those onion peels that were all rotten. So it turns out, I'm very glad I did the peeling because it revealed long, coiled roots upwards for all of these. So there was tons of root mass. I just wasn't able to see it because it was, uh, they were all nestled between those dead rotten layers, which sucked up water by a capillary action. And I tried to wipe away as much of the black mold as I could and pink mold and whatnot using tissues that were already in this giant kitchen trash can that I was uh, peeling these layers away. So you don't even need scissors. You can just wear a pair of gloves and start peeling them away one by one. Um, these roots are really solid and tough. They're like pieces of string. But I wouldn't tear away two layers at once and, you know, just start ripping like a madman. It's going to be, you know, a process where you just take your time and go gentle. And for this one that has twins, you know, I peeled away layers and they still smelled fresh. The last two layers that I peeled away. And basically, you know, there was that fresh onion smell, surprisingly. So that one lasted the longest. These are also the slowest to develop. So that's basically what happened there. Let me put this down. It's getting all wavy again. So yeah, I poured in some hydrogen peroxide. This is probably not even a 0.5 solution. And fertilizer pellets, which will keep the oxygen forming from it, you know, for days and days. So right now, the hydrogen peroxide is super active because it's reacting with all this dead tissue. You know, I don't know the specifics of the chemistry since there are tons of organic molecules in there. But um, I also added some of that blue miracle Grow. Uh, the color generally disappears pretty quickly, and then it becomes like that. That was very blue yesterday with the Korean radish series. So this is very cool. You know, we get to see what's going on. And there was that untold story of all these roots trapped between the layers. They look super healthy for long roots that were in such a disgusting, moldy environment. And if you look at the tops, uh, the height is far less impressive out of that container. You know, there was a bit of height padding going on. So these will receive less light, but just keep it in the middle. And I expect growth to go a lot better now that all that, you know, mold food has been peeled away.